All right, hello everyone. Welcome to your first uh, portfolio update. Uh, this is your first one after creating your uh, digital portfolio a few weeks back. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about um, adding content to it. So um, we've got our movement challenge that's just about wrapped up. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add our photos from this movement challenge to our website. Uh, and then we're also gonna uh, respond to these reflection questions. Uh, but the first step, of course, is getting it onto this digital portfolio of ours. So let's go ahead and hop over and take a look at how that looks. Okay, so you should have on your desktop a folder with your name and then a movement folder with all the photos that you took for this um, uh, photo challenge. It could be a few, could be many, uh, but within this folder, these, these are the photos that came right off your camera. So that's what we call it, your raw photos. They haven't been edited, okay? Uh, so your raws are in here and your edited photos, the photos that you have uh, made edits to are right here in Lightroom. So I'm just using these as an example uh, from uh, just a school project from a few days back. Uh, but let's say that I've got maybe one, maybe a series of photos that I like, maybe up to five photos that um, I want on my website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that photo. If I want several photos, I'm going to command click on all the photos that I want. Let's try that again. Command click. You see how several of them are, are highlighted at this point. Uh, so that's how you know that um, those are the series of photos you want. So right now I got three, four, five, six photos. Okay. Uh, so again, that's command click to add or uh, remove photos. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to right click on one of them and I'm going to say uh, export X number of photos. So right now I've got six photos and I'm going to select a JPEG large. Okay, so right here when I go to um, desktop and I go to my folder, I can see the movement challenge. But here's what you don't want. You absolutely do not want to mix your finalized photos with your raw photos. So one of the things that I really like to do now that I'm here, again, this folder for me is empty, but for you, this might have a few, if not dozens of photos. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna select right here. It says new folder. Let's go and do that. And I'm just gonna call it exports create and that way when we export these photos they're going to be nested in their own designated folder keep everything nice and organized organization is the key to life young ones okay so head export you can see our progress up here and uh, it shouldn't take very long if it's only select few photos okay so life is good let's move over to our digital portfolio now you can of course just add your photos like so uh, by simply double clicking in this negative space and selecting upload. If it's only one photo, there you go, upload. All right, you can resize it. You can add a uh, text here, add a text there. So if you wanna make this a title like movement and change this from normal text to title, and then you can add text here. Um, Okay, so, you know, you can type your reflection questions there. You don't necessarily need that headline, but, uh, you know, something like that. So now, voila, you've got your photo and um, your, your text adjacent like so. Um, if you have uh, more of a landscape photo, you want to take up a little bit more space. Uh, of course, you can do that as well. Let's go to, uh, we got a landscape here. All right, so you can resize it as needed. Um, you've got some cropping options like so if you need to. Um, let me see, let's try that again. There we go, uncrop. Uh, so now it's, it's full size. Okay, so you can do something like that if you wanted to move your um, uh, reflection questions around, you can. So if you wanted to add that below, and now you've got this up above. There we go. 
So something like that, that's an option to you. Of course, we are missing the fact that uh, Google Sites make it pretty easy to just select a layout like so. So, um, you know, something like this, there you go. Now you've got essentially the same thing going on. Uh, and you can, it's kind of pre-built for you so you can spend a little bit less time you know, worrying about layout and design if you're unfamiliar with uh, Google Sites. So that's an option as well. And the very last thing that I want to point out to you is actually hiding down here, the image carousel. If you're adding um, multiple photos, uh, this is actually a pretty good option for you. Uh, a carousel, FYI, that's the same thing, uh, same terminology as Instagram when you're posting multiple photos. Uh, it's called an image carousel. You can swipe between them. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go upload several of my photos. So let's say that it's all five of these, six of these photos that I want. So I'm going to click and drag and select all of those. Okay, you should be able to rearrange them, I believe. Yeah, something like that, if needed. Okay, and then I'm going to hit insert. Okay, and I can scale them as needed. There we go. Okay, now when I publish this, let's go ahead and publish. Remember, it's important to... Uh, publish your work. Let's try that again. Okay, let's try that again. Let's add some text here. So, um, movement. Okay, and then also, uh, one thing that might be something that you're interested in doing is you can actually add some collapsible text as well. So if you want to move this up like so, try that again. Uh, you can actually collapse all this text, which maybe is something that you're interested in doing. At a later point, let me see, I'm getting distracted now. Okay, so uh, you can add text here. Okay, those can be your reflection questions, title, that would be um, for this, something like that, okay. Now I've got two titles, I can uh, go ahead and delete that one. Okay, anyway, let's get not, uh, back on track. So we've got our carousel here. Okay, let's just go ahead and publish this and see what it looks like. Okay, let's view our published site and wait for it to load. Okay, so there we go. Now we can actually swipe and uh, kind of click through this sequence of photos and our text is here. Uh, it's not collapsible at the moment. We can go back and troubleshoot that at a later point. Uh, and then the last thing is, uh, once we are done with this, let's add a divider where, you know, we're going to um, be kind of creating a stream of photos. Uh, so we're just kind of preemptively getting ready for another uh, section uh, down here below. So, uh, so that's updating your digital portfolio. Make sure you're fully responding to these three reflection questions. And one last thing, absolutely stay away from this footer option. Remember, don't add anything down there. Uh, it's going to create a little bit of a can of worms for you. So, okay. Thanks for watching and uh, good luck.